Albedo is the fraction of solar radiation or short wave radiation that is reflected from the surface of the Earth back into space. Short wave radiation is light that's typically defined as being from near infrared through visible light to near UV light. Albedo is also known as the reflection coefficient and it comes from a Latin word meaning whiteness. Different surfaces have different albedo values and these are typically shown as a percentage. For example, a perfectly black surface where all light is absorbed would have an albedo of 0% and a perfectly white surface where all light is reflected would have an albedo of 100%. As stated, different surfaces have different albedo value. For example, water has a low albedo with less than 10% of the light hitting it being reflected back into space. Bare ground such as sand or dirt typically has an albedo between 10 and 30%. Crops or other vegetation typically have an albedo between 15 and 30 percent. And snow is known as having a high albedo or a high reflectivity. Old snow typically has an albedo of about 50 percent, whereas new snow or freshly fallen snow has an albedo of around 70 percent or in some cases even higher. Overall, the Earth's average albedo is somewhere between 30 and 35 percent. But this varies greatly across the Earth based upon geologic and environmental features. There are a number of impacts and applications of albedo in our world, but some of the most common uses of this term and applications for it are in climate and weather. Let's look at a couple examples of where albedo might impact weather and climate. The axis tilt of the Earth and its orbit around the Sun causes variations in our seasons. The variations in the seasons cause changes in the albedo of a region throughout the year. This is because the seasons often cause changes in the ground cover of a region. For example, the ground might be green during the summer because it's covered with crops and vegetation. And these types of vegetation would have a certain albedo. But in the winter, a region would likely have a much higher albedo because the ground is covered in ice and snow. This will change how much light is reflected back into space from a particular region on the Earth because the albedo is changing at different seasons of the year. In the case of weather, which is more short term than climate, a impact of albedo that's pretty common is that of the temperatures following a snowstorm. Once fresh snow falls in a region, it's typical that there will be colder temperatures following that storm. This takes place because of the increased albedo caused by the snow on the ground. This causes the sunlight, which would typically warm the Earth's surface, to be reflected back into space. Again, this will cause colder temperatures in a region in the days immediately following a snowstorm. 